Hi friend, welcome to my channel. My name is Matt, and this is actually my first altar tour video. What? I am still sick. I'm actually filming this the same day as my Salem video, so... Please bear with me, because my voice is going to be scratchy. It's going to be breaking in and out. <laughs> so, I hope it's at least understandable. So without jabbering too much, let's just jump right into all the good fun stuff on my altar. Okay, so now my camera is free in my hands, so hopefully I can focus this and go through my altar at the same time. But we're going to start from left to right and go all the way over. So over here I have some of my favorite tarot decks that I use all the time. I really love the Barbieri's Zodiac Oracle. I tend to pull that one a lot. Um, same with the Gods and Titans. Um, this is also the Divine Feminine deck, and I love that one a lot. I have this little bag back here for like herbal sachets if I ever need to make one. Just kind of hiding because it's not the cutest. Um, I have a little bowl here full of orange slices and um, rose quartz. And I have some blue calcite in there and some sodalite and some other things hiding in there. Over here I have this little um, like creamer thing that I got at the thrift store. I use it for incense. Sometimes I'll put like a little incense cone in there and it um, spews out the top and it's really cute. Um, right here I have some things from the Hawthorne Witch Tea Company. And this is their Rose and Ivy perfume. It's really gorgeous, honestly. If you like um, sweet florals, you'll really like that. And then I have their Lavender Inhaler right here. Um, made with fresh pressed, cold pressed lavender or something like that. Um, over here, I have some of my intention oils. This one right here is my Aries Hexbreaker oil. And I have my Taurus money drawing oil. Um, this one is my Cancer oil for a happy home and loving relationships. This one is my Virgo oil. I made a huge one of that because I tend to work with Virgo a lot. Right here I have my selenite spear, this one represents the moon for me, and then I have my giant quartz crystal ball, um, and that represents the sun. And I work with sun deities a lot, especially Apollo, so that's really special to me. Also my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas one year. Over here I have my little offering bowl that I also got at the thrift store. Um, right now I have some honey in a little shot glass, and I have some bay leaves out for an offering. Um, up here I have a big jar of dried roses that I actually got from my best friend's wedding. Um, she was kind enough to give me a lot of the roses that she had left over after the ceremony, so I took those home and dried them. And now they live on my altar. Um, I have like a yellow candle over here. I get a lot of my candles from the Dollar Tree, like all my 7 day candles, like this big white one. Um, those little like floating tea lights I also got at the Dollar Tree, and these um, bigger ones too. And then I have my Florida water sitting back here. Um, I'll tend to cleanse the altar um, when I first set it up with the Florida water just to kind of cleanse the energy and start afresh. Um, behind here I have some more intention oils. This one is my Leo oil that I use for um, like shining your light basically, um, just being yourself and having people be more receptive and open to you. Um, this one is my Gemini oil. This one I use to make friends and have people receive me better also. Um, and then these candle holders I got at the um, thrift store as well. I thrift a lot of my witchy tools. Um, here I have my juniper berries that I still need to rejar because I hate that jar. Um, some anise seeds. My bee pollen that I use for my business spells and that kind of stuff. Um, some jasmine. I have my bee tarot card because bees are super special to me. Um, that was one of the first animals that ever like stood out to me as like a spirit guide. 
And this is part of the, um, the Secret Language of Animals Oracle deck. So I keep that one up there pretty much all the time. And then I have my rose petals and patchouli. That is some chicory, like dry roasted chicory root. Um, I've heard that's a really good coffee substitute, but I've never tried it. So I'll have to try that soon. But I just love a good old regular cup of coffee, <laughs> which is sitting right here in my little cauldron cup. So cute. Um, then I have my golden rod that I use for my money spells. Um, calendula that I use for literally everything because I love it. A tiny little jar of lavender, my rose quartz skull, my boyfriend got me that for Christmas this year, this past year. Um, chrysanthemum, uh, cardamom, lemon balm, lemongrass, yarrow, wormwood, bergamot, mugwort, vervain, blue violet, some more chicory up here. Um, this is peony root, um, right here. This is a uh, sodalite skull, Labrador. No, it's lapis. It's lapis. Lapis lazuli. Oh, and then I had this one that I took away and didn't talk about. Um, it's my Apollo Oracle card from the Gods and Titans Oracle. Apollo is super special to me. He's my patron deity. Um, everything. He is honestly the only deity that's ever like stood out to me and like come to me in visions and that kind of stuff. So he's really special to me. Here I have um, some butterfly wings that I found one time that I was hiking in Pennsylvania. I did not kill the butterfly, so don't think badly of me. Um, here's my big chunk of orange calcite that I use for creativity. I really like that one. Um, and then back here we got some more herbs like stinging nettle, uh, dandelion root, ginkgo, lemon peel, cloves. And then some blackberry leaf hiding back here. Um, this is my giant jar of hibiscus, because I use that a lot for many different things, including like natural dyeing processes. Um, right here I have this cute little incense burner that I found at a thrift store. You put like the little cone right here and then it comes out the chimney. I thought it was adorable, so I had to have it. It looks like a dollar. And then this is a giant chunk of amethyst that I got at Home Goods. I want to say it was like $15, so that was a steal. Um, these little lotus candle holders I got at um, World Market when I first moved out, so that was like 2011. So I've had those for a long time. Um, my giant chunk of black tourmaline that I used to take to work with me and put on my desk because my work environment was very negative. <laughs> Here is my Spell You Later bag, the first one that I ever added Fringe to, so I kept that one for myself because it was super special. And then back here I have like another little um, bowl with a juniper smudge and a tiger's eye, pyrite, and a little pine cone that I found. Um, another little incense burner back here with some frankincense in it right now. Um, another incense burner back here. This was a wine box that I found at a thrift store that I used to hold all my incense. It is jam-packed right now and overflowing, so I have to... I had to actually backstock some of my incense and put them somewhere else. And then I have my pendulum over here. This was one of my first divination tools that I ever purchased for myself. I think I got that back in 2012 at a shop in Daytona called Daytona Books and Metaphysics. It was actually a funny story behind that one. When we went to buy, um, when I went to buy it, my friend came with me, and the lady at the shop was giving us like a little demonstration of how the pendulum worked. And my friend decided to ask. She thought it'd be funny to see if she would kill me before she turned 25. I think it was. <laughs> and the pendulum said yes. So she never killed me before she turned 25. So that's good. <laughs> And then over here I have some more tarot decks. Um, these are the ones that I don't use as frequently, but I still want to use them. I have them on my altar so I can pick them up whenever I want to. I'm the kind of person, if I don't see it, I don't use it. So I try to put as many things out as possible. Back here is the secret language of the animals. Um, here's my mermaid oracle. This is the crystal angels by Doreen Virtue. Um, the angel tarot cards. Um, Deviant moon. This one is the Wild Unknown. Um, this one is the St. Jinx Gay Tarot. Ooh, and there goes my Russian Tarot of St. Peter. 
and this one I actually inherited from my uncle when he passed away. I actually got a big box of his like witchy stuff, and I actually did not even know he was a witch until he passed away, and I inherited his stuff. So that was really special to me, and now I dropped it on the floor. Cool. Um, back to the center of the altar, I have my big piece of selenite that has candle wax all over it. I don't even know if you can see it, but my candle scent is splatter all over it, and that makes me sad because I can't clean it off. But yeah, and then here I have this um, little crown I made out of willow branches that fell in a storm. Um, I got that at my parents' house. My grandparents used to live in that house until they passed away, and then my parents inherited it. So these were willow trees that were on their property, and there was a big windstorm one day, and it knocked a whole bunch of branches off. So I made two little crowns out of the branches, and one I kept, and then one I gave to my friend. And then over here again, I forgot to mention these. These are my two um, smoky quartz pendants. These I wear all the time. You probably see them on my Instagram pictures a lot. But I just love them so much. This one I got at Black Market Minerals in Orlando. And then this one I've had for forever. I wrapped it myself, as you can probably tell. Um, but I wear them interchangeably. This one I wear with like my darker outfits. And then this one's a little bit more light and airy, like a fart. So, that is about it for the stuff up there. And then I have all of this stuff up here. My... My grimoire is up here. I keep all my recipes and my stuff, like for my herbs. No, what? For my oils and that kind of stuff. I also have my oil diffuser right here that kind of spews out magic into my environment. And then a big jar of lavender. I have a rosemary lemon clearing spray right here. Um, it's just some extra candles, a little jar of calendula just for decoration, because I have my other calendula down here. My highly used copy of Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs, um, the complete illustrated book of the psychic sciences, and like all of my vintage books that I found at thrift stores and other kind of stuff. Um, is there anything I want to mention about those? No, okay, cool. So in this box, I found this at um, a used bookstore, the Da Vinci Enigma Tarot, and I did not even know Da Vinci had a tarot deck out until I found it. It was like three dollars I think so I had to have it. But I keep a bunch of different tarot decks in here because I travel a lot so I'm trying to condense as much as I can. So I have the Halloween Oracle here. And this is the Everyday Witch Tarot. And this is the... I forget the Magical Cats Tarot I think it's called. Something like that. I know it's, it's all about cats but it's super cute. And then this is the actual Da Vinci Tarot. My camera decided to stop recording like it does all the time. This is the Da Vinci Tarot. Um, I can't even tell you this. But yeah, it just has some of his different like sketches on it. I think it's actually his like sketchbook. Here's like the Mona Lisa. So cool, right? Enigma. So that's what I have in there. That's not all, y'all. So down here, I have some more stuff that I can't fit on top. So I have the Miss Cleo Tarot Power Deck. I don't keep her on my altar because we just kind of... My boyfriend got it for me as kind of like a gag gift. And I thought it was hilarious. I love Miss Cleo. She's everything. <laughs> and then I have some allspice, like whole allspice I got here at an Amish store in Pennsylvania. And then some whole cloves that I refill my little jar with. My camera just ran out of space, so here we are again. <laughs> in this box, I, my Hedgewitch Botanical Oracle box. Um, that's actually in my um, tarot bag in there, so I keep that up there. Um, inside, I keep a whole bunch of crystals. These are tarot decks I got at a thrift store that are not complete. So sometimes I'll just use like certain cards to decorate my altar with. Um, here is a bag of rubies and garnets that I mined um, with my family. We used to go um, on like road trips together and we would stop at all the gem mining places along the way. We would drive all the way from Florida all the way up to Pennsylvania. Um, and like we always had so much fun doing those like side of the road gem mining things. So that's from them. 
And then this is um, an opalite crystal that one of my employees gave to me before I quit my old job. So it's super special to me, and I love her so much. Um, so I wear that as a pendant. Um, here's my other opalite. Um, what is this? These are just like crystal chips that I sometimes leave as offerings. Um, if I take like a piece of a plant, I'll leave like a little crystal chip, and then some water for the plant. In here, I have a beeswax candle that I hand dipped in like one of those little touristy village things. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, like you would go on field trips there with your school, and you could like make your own candle. I don't know, but I still have that from like fifth grade. Uh, my jadeite pendant that I wrapped myself. A little elephant that someone brought me back from India. Um, I have some, like, a little thing full of coins, just in case I'm doing, like, a money ritual. This is a tarot mat from the Deviant Moon Tarot. Um, it's just, just like, an, an adventuring. And quartz, I think. Yeah, just regular quartz. And here's, like, a little amethyst, too. So that's about it for that box. We'll put everything back. I really hope you can hear me <laughs> through this video, otherwise I'm going to be so pissed. Uh, this is the Wild Unknown Tarot Box that I keep um, all my other crystals in. Here's another like gem mining thing. This one's from Lincoln Caverns in Pennsylvania. Um, that's actually the last time I went to Pennsylvania. We went gem mining again because it's just so much fun. And then these are all just my mixed crystals, like a big piece of adventuring. Some, I think that's calcite. Um, but yeah. Okay, so that's about it for that box. Um, over here is my the box that came with my tea set. Uh, my boyfriend got me a teapot for Christmas one year. So in here I have my essential oils and I keep them wrapped up and protected. This is like a little empty jar of grapeseed oil. I have a huge thing of grapeseed in my kitchen, so sometimes I'll refill this when I need to make like another intention oil. I have another one of these little bags that um, my crystal skulls came in, and I kept them to make herbal sachets. I have some tea lights in here, another little bag, um, a little dropper. Sometimes I use this to like mix things in. It's kind of oily. Ew. Another piece of soda light, some vitamin E oil, an empty spray bottle just in case I want to make another spritz. I have my bergamot oil. Uh, geranium, and then all these little ones, like this one's spearmint, I have clove, lemon again, anise, citronella, oh that's patchouli, just kidding, my other one is citronella, like a little natural bug spray, my cat like destroyed my hand, <laughs> and then I have my rosemary, I have some peppermint, my sage, lavender, lime, and then I have my eucalyptus in the shower right now because I'm sick and that has been a saving grace for my lungs. And then hiding over in this corner, I have even more herbs that I need to rejar. It's like my sage, my cinnamon sticks, my whorehound, um, a lot more of the golden rod that I am actually trying to get rid of because I have too much of it. I'm going to be giving away some to friends. Um, and that is pretty much it for my Boston altar. I have more things in like big Tupperware, not Tupperware. I have some other supplies in big like storage containers right now that's kind of put away because I don't use it that much. I have like spare candles in there. Um, I don't remember what else I have in there honestly. I think it's just more supplies. I think a lot more incense. Yeah, I have a lot of my cones in there. But yeah. That's about it, and that is my altar for now. I'll be doing another altar tour as soon as we get set up in North Carolina. We actually found out that we will be going to Charlotte next, so you can expect to see my Charlotte altar tour coming within the next month or so. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see how I set up my altars, I'll, I can film a video of me doing that when we actually move to Charlotte, so that way we can knock out two birds with one stone. Um, 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was entertaining. Um, that's kind of a little bit about what I use on a regular basis. Definitely a lot of herbs, a lot of oils. Um, not too many crystals, but that's a growing collection of mine. <laughs> I definitely use a lot of tarot cards, though. But yeah, that's about it. Oh, and that's Beatrice, my lovely mannequin. That's her cameo. Um, she's living on my altar right now just because I have no other place for her in this tiny apartment. <laughs> so, she's just hanging there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will talk to you later. And until next time, I will spell you later.